Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you DOSBox running on the Vision 5.2 RISC-V single board computer. So I noticed that DOSBox was already installed, but just in case you have a different image, then you can simply install it with the command sudo apt install DOSBox. And here it will tell me it's already installed and it is the newest version. And when you want to download some games, uh, then it's probably also a good idea to have something like unzip or any other program that can extract zip files. So, and in my case, uh, I already installed it. So you can download DOS games from dosgames.com. Um, there are some uh, full commercial versions, but uh, I think this website, uh, it does respect still all the old copyrights. So uh, it will probably have uh, the majority is like the shareware versions or at least the versions that are allowed to be um, shared publicly and i already downloaded two games and i also extracted them so i have dreamweb and Duke Nukem 3D. So it's really easy to start DOSBox. Just type DOSBox. And now it's already started. Um, by default, it doesn't have any access to uh, the files that you have on uh, your disk. So you need to mount it. And I already looked at the wiki and there they also have like some explanation. So in this case, I'm going to mount my download uh, DOS games directory in home. So I'm going to assign it to the drive letter C and then home downloads DOS games. And now it's mounted. So we can go to C. And then we do there. And then you can see that we have those games. And as I said, I already extracted them. So first we're going to test Duke Nukem 3D. And unfortunately, the um, performance is not so good. Uh, I think it would really help uh, that we get OpenGL support. I mean, we do have the blob for the GPU driver, but yeah, I don't think it's properly integrated yet. But I hope that will improve. So by default, it's uh, two times upscaling, at least with this installation. So 
so I guess you can see here that the performance is not really good so it's probably not a good idea to start playing any 3d games at the moment um, yeah it's probably better to wait until we have the proper OpenGL support Um, so, pressing F1. Let's see. I really have to press F1. Just the little tap is not sufficient. So I'm going to quit because uh, it's not very responsive. So we're going to try something a bit more simple and that's a point and click adventure, DreamWeb. And that means uh, you have to use uh, the mouse. And also one thing that um, once you use the mouse in DOSBox, you might th think it's trapped, but with Control F10, you can get it back. So I'm going to press escape to get past the intro. So when I click, now you can see I can move the hand. But it also means that I'm stuck in the DOS box window. So yeah, we can take the key, put it in the inventory. So I guess the mechanics for point and click adventures is yeah, quite similar to all of them. Mm, also going to show you the scaler. So first we'll quit. So just remember the size of this one. And now we still can't get out of the DOS box window, so we press Control F10. And now we're back. So you can uh, change the scaler in DOS box itself. You can also set it the default in the configuration file. So we can check the current scaler. So that's normal two times. And in this case, we're gonna set it to normal three times. And start dream up again. So at first it might look like as if it doesn't have any effect. But once we get to the game, 
you can see that we get a bigger window now. So, as I said before, um, I don't think it's a good idea to play 3D games with DOSBox at the moment. Uh, yeah, we really, really need uh, proper access to the GPU. Uh, and unfortunately, um, that's not available yet, but I'm expecting that things will improve in the coming months. Uh, but I think it's good enough for point-and-click adventures. So, that's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.